It's alive! This novel is about a scientist and his monstrous creation. Frankenstein. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in this installment of Mojo Notes, we'll be counting down 10 things you should know about Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Sit down. Number 10, about the author. Want to make the reader afraid to look around, to curdle the blood and quicken the beatings of the heart. If it did not accomplish these things, my ghost story would be unworthy of its name. Born in 1797 in London, England, to political philosopher William Godwin and feminist pioneer Mary Wollstonecraft, Mary Shelley was raised and tutored by her father after her mother's death. When Mary Shelley was just 11 days old, her mother died of purple fever. She fell in love with the poet philosopher Percy Bysshe Shelley in her late teens and wrote her Frankenstein novel in the mid 1810s. Though her later life was plagued by money problems and her children's deaths, Shelley continued writing her own material and editing her late husband's work. Number nine, influences and inspirations. Shelley conceived the storyline for Frankenstein while she and Percy Bysshe Shelley were in Geneva with fellow writers Lord Byron and John Polidori. Such an audience needs something stronger than a pretty little love story. So why shouldn't I write of monsters? Their discussions of natural philosopher Erasmus Darwin's experiments led her to dream about a scientist who brings his creation to life. My imagination unbidden possessed and guided me. I saw the pale student of unhallowed arts kneeling beside the thing he had put together. This eventually became the novel Frankenstein or The Modern Prometheus, which she wrote by incorporating gothic horror, the supernatural, and what are considered early elements of science fiction. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Number 8. Settings and Era Set in the 18th century, Frankenstein takes place in various European locations, from Switzerland and Germany to England and Scotland. Though it's influenced by that century's idea that organisms could be brought to life using electricity, Shelley actually wrote the story in the 1800s. Other influences include the poetry of Ovid, John Milton, and Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Number seven, plot. Taking dead men apart and building up a human monster. Frankenstein opens with Captain Robert Walton's letters to his sister and continues with a narrative by a scientist named Victor Frankenstein. It's alive. After giving life to an inanimate creature, Frankenstein is convinced to build a mate for his creation. A friend, a friend, a companion, a female. But when he demolishes this new creation, the angry monster kills the scientist's friend and wife. Frankenstein swears revenge, but ultimately dies after meeting Walton, leading to the saddened monster's decision to sacrifice itself. Number six, Victor Frankenstein. The best way to cheat death will be to create life. Mm. Mm. Now you've gone too far. Born in Geneva, Victor Frankenstein is captivated by science and begins experimenting with reanimation in university. Yes! Frankenstein quickly abandons his work after one experiment produces a horrifying monster. His subsequent decisions involving the monster eventually lead to the death of his loved ones as well as his own. You will honor your promise to me! I will not. Go on, kill me now. That is mild compared to what will come. Number five, the monster. With its yellow eyes and skin, black lips and hair, eight foot tall frame, and straight white teeth, Frankenstein's creation is revolting upon first impression. <coughs> <coughs> But there's more to this monster than meets the eye. Despite its maker's rejection, it learns to speak and read by observing humans from afar. Uh, 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 
but his physical appearance still drives people away. <coughs> Frankenstein himself cannot complete the task of creating its mate. Though the monster responds with anger and hate, it ultimately regrets its actions. Why do you weep? He was my father. Number four, values and themes. Two of Frankenstein's main themes revolve around the potential for destruction in one's quest for knowledge and how unnatural forces can lead to monstrous results. Meanwhile, the mysteries of science and nature provide a backdrop for the lessons and experiences of the novel's characters. I will be hailed as the benefactor of our species. You're wrong. I, of all men, know that. The book also raises ethical issues with respect to Frankenstein's act of giving life to a non-living thing, and whether or not human beings should be able to do this. Think of it, the brain of a dead man waiting to live again in a body I made. Number three, modern popularity. First published anonymously, Frankenstein overcame poor early reviews to amass legions of fans. Its popularity quickly increased with multiple language translations and theatrical adaptations. By the next century, critics came to see the work in a much more favorable light, highlighting its gothic elements and the ethical issues it raises. I give you the monster. The book is now considered a forerunner in science fiction that has greatly influenced the horror genre. Search every ravine, every crevice, but the fiend must be found! <laughs> Number two, literature adaptations. Aside from various stage and Broadway productions, Frankenstein and the story of his monster has been written about by dozens of authors. These range from sequels to completely original fictional pieces and parodies to children's books and comic books. Who are you? My name is Victor Frankenstein. Number one, screen adaptations. Following the 1910 silent film adaptation, Frankenstein and his monster have continued to horrify mesmerize and entertain us on the big and small screens well into the 21st century. Trying mighty hard to look like Gary Cooper. Cooper, Cooper. However, the story's most well-known adaptation remains Universal Pictures' Frankenstein in 1931. Boris Karloff has been associated with his portrayal of the monster in that film ever since, and even appeared in several Frankenstein-related projects thereafter. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite piece of Frankenstein trivia? Who are you? He never gave me a name. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more informative top tens. Go!